Well, another round of Florida primaries are in the books. Joining us live this morning is Senator Greg Stubbe, who just won the District 17 congressional seat last night. Congratulations yeah, to you. you. Thanks for having me. Well, you, you know, you first ran back in 2010. You won your race for state house. Yeah. Who's this guy, Greg Stubbe? Of course, you're the son of a former sheriff from Manatee County, Brad Stubbe. And then you won for state senate. Oh, this guy's years ago. won two in a row. And then you threw your hat in for the congressional race to replace Tom Rooney, and you win the primary. To what do you attribute your success? Well, it's three tough primary elections, and I've always stayed true to who I am and stayed true to our message. Um, I'm a conservative Republican, and I've always done that, and I've, I've shown that both in um, the bills that I've sponsored and what I've done at the state level, and I'll continue to do that if I'm elected in November. Now, District 17 kind of starts at Clark Road and goes south and takes a funny curve toward... You happen to live north of Clark Road, though, I happen to know, so what are you going to do? Yeah, so it's, um, I mean, you don't have to live in the district federally at, at the federal level, but this district is such a large geographic agricultural district. It goes from South Polk County all the way down to Northern Lee County, all the rural counties in between Hardy, DeSoto, Highlands, Glaze, Okeechobee. So uh, my family's from this area, um, not a better person to represent an agricultural district. I have a background in agriculture, which is an important part of this district. We have the district to show you right now. It's an unusual swath that Tom Rooney uh, held for the past few years. Oh, there's the results, rather. Okay, there's the results of the, uh, the race itself. Now, we were talking to David Shapiro earlier, and he said come November, you know, one of the big issues for him is going to be health care. What do you think are going to be the big ones on the ballot for? Uh, what are the things that you're going to be focusing on for November? Well, you know, it's the same thing for me is, is my conservative agenda um, as, as you turn and pivot obviously the election was last night so you're, you're turning and trying to pivot to more general issues that affect all voters not just Republican primary voters obviously water quality and red tide and the issues are related to that I've gotten a ton of questions and, and um, information about that so that's probably gonna be a big issue that voters are gonna have questions about now you're going to run against an April Freeman of Cape Coral a TV and film producer how much do you know about her? I don't know anything about her. You know, we've been focused on the primary till last night. Um, she has run for this congressional seat before. I think this is her third time running for this congressional seat. Uh, it's a heavily Republican seat. This seat went for Trump by 27 points. So it's a very strong Republican district. So a Democrat would have a really, really hard challenge overcoming the type of numbers that this district has. Now, this district just amazes me. You're going to be doing a lot of driving I've been around. doing a lot of driving. I've <laughs> yeah. got 180,000 miles on my truck. <laughs> and, just uh, 180 more. You'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's, you know, anywhere you go in this district, it's a two-hour drive. So it's, um, it's interesting, but I enjoyed it. I wouldn't want to represent a be better district in the heartland of Florida. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you again. Congratulations, yeah, thank Greg. You Thanks for, for getting me. up so early yeah, this morning. Good so. hustle.